Hola. ¿Dónde está el paño? ¿Dónde está el banco? Whatever, okay. I can't speak any uh, Spanish. So, hope uh, I've seen already that many of you, maybe not here, but in Spain don't speak English, so it might be that I can speak whatever I want. But anyway, I'm Gara. Some people think that I'm from Krypton because they pronounce my name as Kaleb in Superman. But actually, I'm from Estonia. So today, I'm here because I'm talking about a little bit about WordPress, but more about the crisis uh, that came in the beginning of 2008. Estonia went into economic crisis and my company went into way bottom. So to understand what kind of crisis it was or how bad it was, I can tell you a bit about, like, I can tell you two stories about the fridge, you know, fridge where you keep the food. One day, my fridge was empty. I have two kids and a beautiful wife and there was no money. There was no money to buy any food, to buy any stuff. So I was waiting. I was waiting for somebody to pay the invoice. There was actually one invoice that was left to be paid. No other invoices for the future. So there it was. The empty fridge, me, kids, my wife, and the happy moment the money arrived in our bank account. So yeah, we could go and just shop and buy some food, kids get ice cream. I also um, my father lived uh, my uh, sorry my mother lived with us so she was unemployed so she was happy she didn't get a pack of cigarettes because she was a smoker so everybody was happy and so I thought no no I will only transfer the money to another account so I can take it out from the bank and and go to find food so everybody was happy my wife was preparing the list so everything that we go we can go and get. And so we, 15 minutes later, it suddenly attacked me that I had transferred the money to the, to the account that was blocked. That, that the account was blocked and I couldn't get the money. So I quickly saw the faces change. My mother was like, the happy face turned into a sad face. My wife said, what the fuck? <laughs> well, and then my head was also, what the fuck? So I quickly thought, okay, I can fix it. I'm going to the bank and I'll. Go. So I went to the bank, they said, no, you can't take it. And there it was the empty fridge, unhappy faces, and no money coming in, no money at all. This was one day. A few months later, I don't even remember actually how we managed to get through that two months later. Or two months later, the other fridge story. We had this, we were living in like a really small apartment, kids and uh, I also have a dog. And we were, it was late at night, we had this awful fridge that was like going in every 15 minutes it made this this engine turned on and it made ugly noises like Durr. so so that it's so annoying the kids are sleeping it should be more quiet. We were uh, suddenly thinking that, but why? That's, why does this fridge work at all? Why don't we just unlock it because it's empty? And we said, oh, it's so funny actually, that we just suffer this noise all the time and we actually don't have to. It's, anyway, it's empty, so we were laughing and we unlocked it uh, and it was silent and we got each other. Anyway, this was, this was just a bit about how bad the crisis was for us. So, uh, but let me start from the beginning. Uh, before uh, I was doing this guest houses business, I was in uh, tourism business, 
and I thought that okay, when my kids, I had first, uh, my wife was pregnant, and I thought that I should follow my heart and this guest house business and this business is not for a family guy. I should do something more that will suit this lifestyle. So I started my internet business, uh, parenting website. And I invested a lot of money in it. I sold the guest houses, I invested everything in it. And it was just the time before the economic crisis came. So I invested everything. And uh, I had lots of employees who were <coughs> developing a, a website, a, creating content and so on. And then the crisis came and it deep went and, and quickly went uh, into a huge minus. So I thought that one day when I was in the office, my kid came in after five uh, from the kindergarten and uh, I told him, okay, we're going home now, like in 15 minutes or so, but wait a little. I'll just quickly finish my things because I had to let go of the employees. I was doing all, most of that myself and uh, my wife was also helping me. So a few hours later, I tell my kid again that, okay, we're going home just in a second, wait a little. Until it's like 10 o'clock, and I say, okay, now we're going home, but we quickly need to pass through the post office to bring some stuff away. Uh, stuff into the post office, and, uh, and uh, when we were driving home, my kid was crying in the taxi. This was well, the parenting lifestyle, the family lifestyle that I actually didn't want. And, uh, so, we decided that we need to change. We need to change something. And uh, we decided that anyway, we don't have any money anymore to pay for the rent or to pay for anything at all. So we just take the deposit money and leave it for the last month. We sell everything, we sold our TVs, stuff. And we decided that we'll go to some warmer place because Estonia is quite cold. Like right now, there's lots of ice and snow. <coughs> Not like here, it's beautiful weather. But so we decided we will go to some place warm where I could work, we'll do the uh, stuff in the internet, but I will go. We will, so we, anyway, later we were in Malaysia. We managed to get a chance where I could just be in some office, some intermarketing office where I could learn stuff. I could like just use their space over there and then talk to people and learn new skills. Actually, before I was already learning quite a lot. I was learning how to Photoshop, how to, well, actually, there I was introduced to WordPress. And uh, I could have saved a lot of money if I would have known that before with, while I started my website. But during the crisis, I was thinking in the beginning of the crisis that, that how come, that I'm not a bad person, how come this crisis came to us, or how come th that this crisis happened, and, and uh, why did we deserve it, or why did it happen? And I was really angry, and I was really, I don't know, uh, but there was like really bad emotions about it. But later, or now, I look back and I think that <coughs> I'm really happy that this happened to us. I'm really happy because I've never learned as much as I did during this time of crisis. Because I learned about uh, relationships. You know, we used to make lists for our wedding when we had this guest house and we were like thinking, okay, when we make a uh, when we get married, 
We are just doing this for entertainment purposes. You know, in Estonia usually people live together, they have kids, but they they're not into like silent marriage because they're more like connected to hearts, not by paper. And so we we're just thinking, okay, if we get married, then it's just like a huge party, like 200 people maybe. And when the crisis first came, then we make this list again. Well, things have changed a little, so maybe it's just relative to close friends, 70, 200 people maybe. And then it seemed like, okay, the crisis went on, and we adjusted the list a little, okay, like a handful of people, and well, actually, these days we are still talking about it, and we see that the only people that should be there should be just us. <laughs> nobody else is needed, actually, and nobody else, like, if, well, it's it's just something that you learn during the crisis about how you act in the situation and how everybody else acts in the situation. But I also learned uh, how to get out of the crisis when suddenly I had turned. It. I had learned all the skills and all the stuff that you need to break out of it. And I started like, my own companies uh, actually survived because I was offering this service to other companies to help them to how to run your business that you could cut down your costs, you could cut down everything and then earn money and so uh, Basically, I started to change other companies and, and I started to improve them while I was actually learning. For a there, in Estonia, there was one huge theater that uh, became my client, and I was learning about uh, WordPress, and well, WordPress fixes about 90% of inner page SEO. And so I changed their uh, the platform to WordPress and uh, used videos for marketing. And uh, the, the site was, uh, the traffic went up in one year, 300% and sales through website five times. So I was like doing the things for the others that I actually needed before. So, and also then I was thinking that Actually, when the crisis was over, I still had my website. I managed to keep it, the current website. So it grew actually into other businesses and I learned that maybe while well, you're doing things in your way and you think that this is the right way, but sometimes you need to change the angle, you need to change yourself. And uh, then things go better. Because well, maybe the business was not what I thought was, uh, let's say, I was in the beginning, I thought that we will, would make money through advertising and stuff. But <coughs> now, actually, we, all right, we created a system, <coughs> uh, this uh, video project, where I create video series for niche websites that you get one website will buy video series or video content for, the, uh, for them with the price 10 times less than it would actually cost for them to make or to order this video for themselves. But as they get, let's say, there's like a Spanish website, Spanish website, parenting website pays for uh, this, uh, these videos and the same videos can be used in Russia or in the States or in Estonia and uh, <coughs> Nobody could uh, tell that actually <coughs> that it's, if it wasn't made special for that website. So we now sell quality content for different websites and, and help other companies make money with our products. So it's a win-win-win situation where the uh, visitors of them, our client site, get really good content from the website, our clients get to earn money from it, and we actually do really well as well. So, 
in the end, I'm thinking that the crisis, the crisis, it's not a bad thing actually. It's actually a good thing. It's just, if you think of it as a lesson, there's something that needs to be changed. There's something maybe you need to change in yourself. And, well, there's an opportunity to learn and to improve. And, well, I'm sure that there will be another crisis coming, the ones that you maybe can predict. But, finally, the most important thing is that the people that are close to you, family, and, well, you get through when you have, let's say, in this act. I was thinking that I was so unlucky, that how come that I'm so unlucky that people are so lucky that they get this business there and they get that money over there. But I say, fuck the luck. You can do without, you don't need no luck. You just need to do things that finally will work out for you. Thanks.